Hmm. Hey. Oh, hi. Uh, nice, nice background though, right? Okay, so my name is Parth Sharma, and this is AI probably. And what? Hello. Are you? Uh, hello, but I'm, I'm kind of recording. Do you mind? Can I be in the video? No, you cannot be in the hey. video. I just want to record this video alone. But okay, the other me is very irritating. Uh, uh, that's fine. So AI probably has got something really amazing for you. Today we are going to be doing. Python Sphinx documentation generator. I'm done. I'm done with him. Let's learn about Python Sphinx document documentation generator. So I'm going to go to desktop and I will go to. I've already created a file called Sphinx test. As you see, there is nothing inside this folder what you have to do is you have to run this command called sphinx sorry sphinx quick start it is going to ask you a series of questions which you will have to answer and then accordingly it will be creating extensions and folders let's go through it for root path for the documentation press enter let it be the default values here in separate source and build directories it is asking you do you want two different folders named source and build Say yes. Name prefix for templates and static there. Press enter. Here the project name will be my test case. Anything. Author name is of course I'm going to say Parth Sharma. 1.0.0 and project release A. You want English to be the default language. Press enter. You want restructure text file to be your uh, file structure for Sphinx documentation generator. You also have .md which is a .markdown file but we'll just enter name of your master document will start with index so you will have a master folder or a master file called index.rst yes say yes to it we don't need an epub builder for automatically insert doc strings for module yes no do not test not really no yes 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 and yes this is the most important uh, a place where you'll have to play, uh, you press yes because you definitely want a make file and if you're not on Windows or if you're not on uh, uh, say suppose you're on Mac or Ubuntu so you'll have to say no but if you're on Windows what if you say yes here it'll create a .bat file or a .bat file but this is only for people who are using Windows if people are using other operating systems press no it's done as you can see here, it automatically created make file, build and source. Now let's go to build. And if I do ls, it's completely empty. No problem. We'll come back here. We'll go to the very first step that you have to do is you have to go to source ls. You'll have this file called static templates, con.py and index.rst. The very first thing that you will have to change is con.py. Either you can use Sublime or Vim. I'm using Vim because I'm com comfortable in Vim. So I'm going to do Vim con.py. I've entered con.py. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I I'm going to press I, which is insert. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to comment out the OS. I'm going to uncomment it, sorry, and I'm going to come here. In case if you want to add a file name. Uh, Without having this, you can also do sys.path.append, sorry, and you can write your file name here. You can write it like this. I suggest you don't do this because if the number of files increases, so will this um, complexity in the code will increase. So if you just keep it this way, it is good. <coughs> also, if you see here, Everything that we said yes to is already put into extensions here, right here. We had said that the basic file structure is going to be dot restructure text file. Uh, dot markdown file can also be done, but for that you'll have to do pip install recommend mock. So you can also work with dot md file, which is the rock markdown files. I suggest you stick with dot rst because it's quite simple. If you see here, the theme here is alabaster. Eventually, we'll go and change themes as well. So let's continue with it. So while escape, press escape and press right quit. Right. So I'm here. 
what I need to do is I'm creating a documentation for a program which is calculator.py. In calculator, I have a couple of functions like add, subtract, multiply, divide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another file called rst. Of course, you'll have rst here. I'm going to go inside rst. Nothing. So I'm going to vim. You'll have to create another rst file. So I'm going to say add dot rst. So it's going to open up another file with an extension dot rst. Here, what you'll have to do is you will have to write a couple of code in a different format. So I'll just tell you. So this program is about calculator application. So I'm going to come down. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to press insert. Yeah. So calculator. I'm going to come here. You see calculator has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So equally lines you'll have to put. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll tell you in a minute why that's required. Now I'm writing a function add. So that's fine. In RST, there are different ways of highlighting couple codes or uh, giving the HTML file uh, 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 data in a way it, where it says that this file is written in Python. So please give indentation and highlighting based on Python. So you'll have to write two dots, a space, code, B-L-O-C-K block, then space, Python. Sorry, come down. You will have to leave one space empty and now one, two, three, three spaces. And now you can start writing define add. I'm going to take two params, which are A and B, and I'm going to come down. Of course, I'll have to do one, two, three. Now Python has a four spaces as indentation. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to write return and I'm going to write A plus B. But I also want to give doc strings. So I'm going to come down one, two, three, one, two, three. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to say param a, I'm sorry, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to say param a is not integer, but an integer value for a. I'm going to say param b is integer value for b. I'm going to come down one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to say return is going to be sum of two integer values. So my job here is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape, press escape. <clears throat> I'm going to do colon right quit. I have made this change in a folder called RST. Now we'll have to connect it. So what we are going to do is we are going to go back. Sorry, here I am. What I have to do is I have to open up index.rst. Of course, I've opened it up. Press I to insert. We do not need this, so I'm going to be removing this. But as you can see, it all starts with two dots and a space. It says this is where it's supposed to take a reference from. This is how restructured text file works. I suggest you do a little research on restructured text file, and so you will understand how it works.